Hello and welcome, my friend. Today my topic is that how to fix and investigate what is wrong when our cars, this metallic feel that area, it is hot or warm. And what is wrong if we have drive and then when we touch this our metallic or aluminium feel we can feel that it is hot or even, even we can see in here inside that this disc and brake pads they are red and if they are red then we then we have really big issue and now I am talking this normal driving but if you have drive a really highway drive or something like this Indy car driving in your Servolet Corvette or Ford Mustang GT then it's normal that these fields are hot but but it is not normal if you have some some standard car like Ford Taurus or Honda Civic or then in like Toyota Corolla and then when you touch this area you can feel that this is hot and normally in some cars we have even this plastic cover and then when we take that away we can touch that area and normally this area is quite cool it is not not hot when we drive like something like 100 kilometers or 100 miles and 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 especially if we are not uh, using our brakes a lot because normally if we use our brakes a lot then this area can becomes hot but in that condition that we drive in this car and we don't use much brakes and still this is hot this area then we have issue in their inside and normally we have there is couple of basic issues in their inside in these brakes and next I will show that what is this issue and first we can test that, that that when we try to rotate that our feel and we have actually lift that our feel first up now we can see that it is like in air this is the first step and then we need to insert our gear in in automatic transmission in this neutral end position and in manual transmission in this zero and neutral position and that means that then our gearbox is free and we can rotate that field and normally if everything is okay this field should rotate when we take our hand in here like in that way in that way and then when we in big force when we move that our field it should be move easily and let's go to look that what is easily rotation because now this my front feel this is stuck and that's that and this stuck and jam means that that those brake parts takes contact there is something issue and they are bad and normally there is corrosion they are too burn out and there is this luck and and to no any lubrication oils in these brake parts and systems but then I will show that what is normal rotation because this is not that I take grip and this is it stop immediately and now there is no any gear on and brakes are off and everything should be so that this rotates nicely and then let's go to look what is the nice rotation uh, we go to look another wheel okay and then I like to show that what is normal rotation this is like this cars this rear areas feel and then when I move that in this way this feel rotates quite easily at least one rotation like in here when I check that area and let's look it goes almost one one rotation when I take quite easily and then when I take hard move and it start to rotate in so much and this is normal rotation and everything is almost okay I can feel that there is small friction this sound but it is not it is normal this is not bad brake system and then let's go to look at my front tire and feel where we have this 
hot wheel issue. Okay, and first step and is to take this our uh, feel away and to lift up this car and be sure that you use in here specific those steel or some uh, truck pallets that this car don't collapse against your uh, hands and feet. And that is important to use security thing when we are lifting this car up. And first step is to open these bolts and for that bolt we need 21 mm socket and little, little bit longer bar and then when we open these bolts this, it is easy to open and now I have already opened little bit these bolts that they are then easy to rotate with hands and this is this first job and then when I have take these nuts in that way away all of these four we can take that feel away and then remember these nuts are very very sensitive and insert these in safe place like some little bit upper place that there is no any sand I insert my nuts in that kind of metallic plate okay and then when nuts are away we continue okay and what is our next task next task is that we need to open this brake caliper area and it's easy to do so that I take my hand in here and then I only rotate that in this direction and then we have next next points in here what we need to open and for that job we need 14 one four millimeter socket what fits in here so nicely and then when I have a little bit longer tool this bolts opening is is easy like Coca-Cola drinking because it is so easy and then I only rotate in that direction look that direction this bolts opens in that way now it's free an idea is that I insert in here and this is the opening direction like in that way look how I rotate in that way when I rotate this opens and then when these are these high quality bolts it is easy to open and there we have this specific this is specific Toyota's bolt not standard bolt and if this is damaged please go to visit the nearest Toyota dealership center what sells new Toyotas and also always new Toyota spare parts and this costs something like one US dollar or euro per piece and same idea in this lower area that I open that also and there's my tool and in that position when I open this opens easily and then I rotate and then sometimes it can be so that that this bolt is stuck and and this other bolt what is in here it moves also I can so this part in here moves also and in that purpose we need to insert this other new new friends in here what sides look to be 15 15 millimeters there is one five if I remember right yes it fits in here and one hand keeps that and second then rotates that bolt sometimes we need to do so that one hand keeps that and other rotates and then this bolt opens sometimes they are a little bit stuck like in in here it okay and now two bolts are free and then insert these bolts in clean place always and my clean place is in here they are now in there and then then next task is to take this 
this caliper out and normally when we insert our hands in that position and then we do that kind of movement, this opens, but not always. And that's we need to do sometimes so that now I rotate that in that position and then we need a little bit good quality screwdriver and in that position there is a small, small gap between in these parts and then I bend in that way and then yes they opens. These Toyota parts are the most well made in world and normally this opens so easily. And then I carry and I insert that my brake caliper in that position. Look. In that place it is in here. Of course you can use some wire and insert in that upper spring area in here there are hooks it is also fine but I insert that brake caliper in here and then then we continue when we are doing this brake uh, brake system lubrication and service that what parts in this brake system in car or pickup truck or motorbike and motorcycle I can lubricate and use this specific brake greases like that one what is metal free paste and there is actually picture that I can use these these products for this very hot and temperature resistant it is like white white grease and this is specific products for brake parts and in what areas I can install this stuff in my brake system and this is my uh, topic today and first one when we take this our brake pads normal area is always that area in here and in that area I can insert that my grease in all areas in that outer area remember only outer not in this inner area and then these upper holes in that area I can insert this my this specific grease and there is also some other grease what is suitable but in that point I can install this grease and what is the benefit if I lubricate these brake pads then these brakes uh, works better and there is no those brake issues because normally when brakes become old and brake parts then they become stuck and they are not movable and then we have bad issue in our brake system and that means and these areas I can insert these. and also in that areas what are these support points where brake pads goes and it happens so that I insert in my finger crease and then by the way use clothes do not ever insert this crease to your skin because these stuffs they create cancer and, and it is like poison always use this recycle specific this gloves but protect your skin okay and in that area I can insert glue this grease and also in that upper area this is fine then those parts move well, well. and then if this grease goes to this brake disc like in here use always clean clean cotton cloth and immediately clean those creases away this disc brake disc area because it is wrong place okay in that area I can insert and then we have one area left what is this brake caliber and in here in this brake caliber area what is in there I can insert this my grease in that area I take more especially in this area and what takes contact to brake pads this is good and then this rubber sealant in here I can insert even in that area lubrication and there is actually a little bit better this brake this rubber lubrication but but if we insert into a little bit grease it is not bad and then that other side what is in here this area 
I can insert in that area in here this lubrication. Okay, good. And then, then I can insert what is next when I have this this uh, bolts. What what are keeping this brake brake caliber in this position in here, and these parts goes in here. They are also good to lubricate. In that way, that I insert in here this grease, and then they are really easy to install these bolts in back, back in here, in that way, and then they, there is no any corrosion. And then final step is that that if we have those, like in that car, there are those movable joint bolts that are in here. We can lubricate also these because all moving parts needs this lubrication. And now I made so that I use only one this brake lubrication, but we have even very specific, little bit better creases for some of these specific points, like this rubber area and then these areas. But but this this. Uh, Metal free paste is better than nothing and the idea is that all parts move like in that way. Movement is the key. And the best way is to check that when we take our fingers and then if they move nicely, everything is okay. And then if you notice that some part is stuck, then you need to take it out and lubricate. So easy. Okay, and now I think that I I cover all of these main areas. Okay, and then I need to open and take this brake caliper away. And there is this bolt, but I need to first clean using this metal push. And that way, because it is full of sand and dusty. And I think that this is 14 millimeter bolt in here. And next, there is 14. Yes, this fit in here. One, four socket. And next, I need to open that hose in here. And for that job, I need to insert that my caliper back in here, in this position. And I need to insert this bolt, what are in here, that I can open that. A little bit that way and rotate. And I insert that caliber in here because this is tight bolt in here. Okay, and then now it's in this position and there is then this place. And then I need next because brake fluid is coming out, I need canister because this brake fluid is harmful and then I take my socket and then I open that bolt. Now it now it opens and then I rotate and now this brake fluid starts to drop in this ground. Now this bolt opens and in that position now brake fluid come out and this part is good to insert in a little bit up this part because there is this brake fluid and let's look there is this part and I insert that in in here that there is less this and actually I think that I can use some small canister. I use this plastic canister and I insert that part in here. And then this brake fluid goes in that hole. And now, now this my this caliper is free and I can open 
these nuts and then, then I can go to repair that brake caliper. Okay, now it's free. And then we can go to look that part closer. Okay, and then when I have this brake caliper in here, there is idea that there is hole, direct hole in here. And I have screwdriver and then when I press that my in this way in inside this piston comes out. In, in that way. And now I am planning to take that piston out. There it comes and only a little bit force. And then when we look that thing, what is there happening? Now I I press that my screwdriver in here and then I I try to take this pist piston out because I try to lubricate it. Okay. And there is this my movement, what I am doing. There is this my caliper. And here I press that hard. And soon we need to be a little bit careful. This is quite tight. Okay. Okay, now it is so much in there. And, and more. Okay, now, now this part is open. And then I can check that is there everything up okay and I can clean and lubricate that part next. Okay, good. And then I take my new lubrications. Okay, and then I take clean cloth and I clean this piston very carefully or this all these areas and I take and then I check that in here there is something rusty but in that area this looks good and the purpose is to clean that totally clean and also I clean that inner area also in here and I check that there is no any rusty things and no any wet in there. Okay, and then I then I check this inner piston cylinder areas that that there is no any any corrosion in there. And then when this is clean, I insert in there specific lubrication. Okay, and then then I need some specific lubricant and then when we look in here inside there is one one gasket this this black one in there inside in that black gasket not this one I mean that one what is just in here and I take a little bit more light that we can see there is this black area what is in here and that gasket it needs now specific first this Cleaning, we need that totally through that black gasket, and then we can take it also away. If it is really dirty, we need that kind of sharp spike. And when I insert that in here, I can carefully take that that gasket in that way away. But now I think that this is fine, and I install only in their specific brake, there is this my brake loop, brake lubricant, there is this name, brake lubricant, and this is for brake parts, and now this my product is this brand CRC, and this is like, like some kind of Vaseline, but this is only for brake those uh, rubber and these things, like in here and now I insert that in my finger and then I insert that in in here inside in only this this 
rubber. Okay, now there's a lot of this, and I insert that in all areas in their inside. And this makes this rubber sealants to move fast, and also this outer boot in that way. And then, when there is this piston, this needs also the same lubricant. And remember that this, this piston must be clean. Now there is this lubricant good. And then I insert this my piston in carefully in this my workbench. This is important because because this this my workbench now better view because when this is this in workbench I can install this piston easily back and in in that position good and then I then I I fasten I fasten this my workbench and this is this then this area and in that area. I next, I next insert, and then this piston must be clean in that way. And better view. And there is this my piston, and it this must be clean. And then I insert that in here, and I carefully, I, I insert that my piston in directly down. And it normally. It goes in there, but it it needs a little bit force, and suddenly it goes. And now I think that I need to lift up that boot, and maybe I need to actually take this boot actually away. Maybe I think because this is quite difficult to insert. I. I can use this metallic spike, and I can carefully lift that. Be very careful with this rubber thing that we don't damage that. And then this part is difficult because I need to insert that indirectly down, and maybe I need to take this this boot cover out. And it happens so that that there is this metallic. And I start now. I take it away and I insert that in here. This now I am there is one metallic thing in here. That I can take this. Yes, there is there is metallic play ring in here that I can take. And now I work a little bit that I can take this rubber boot away. Okay, and now I manage to find this spring, and there is that kind of me small metallic spring. But I use this my spike, and then I take that metallic spring away. In that way, it looks like that, and then I can take this my this ring. This rubber boot away, and next it is possible, and then I I need to again clean this my thing because now there is small trash. This must be all time clean, and then I take my clean cotton cloth, and then I take all of this. This cleaning is the key in that job. All extra things away. And now, no, there can't be any anything inside in that area. And please be really carefully when we clean that cylinder area. It must be totally clean. And now I take new cloth and I clean that totally. That it is totally, totally clean. And then I insert in here. Again, this grease, and soon we continue. Okay, and now when it is clean, and now I I have tested, and and I have cleaned that inside cylinder, and then I have inserted this grease, what I had in here, this brake lubricant, in this 
plug gasket and then I can install this my piston in back in there. Now it goes in there nicely. And now and, and then I need to check that this moves in here in this way. Check that I can move that in my hand. And then when it moves, okay, everything is fine. And then I need to finally install that my protective rubber boot in there in that way. And then this upper area, this metallic, this metallic ring, it goes in that hole. What is in here? In that way. And then I need to only press that in here down. Down in here. And I use my this this tool and then, then when this there is hole where this spring goes and I work with little bit and then I insert that in back. And now now I think that first I insert that in here in that way and it goes in there deeper. That way now it looks good and then final step is to insert that in back and I lubricate a little bit. I lubricate also that part that it is easier to install. Easier to install in there. And now it's lubrication and then, then I install that in I start one point, now it went, and then I only, I, I, that point, and then it need to go in here like down, and all areas, and finally it goes in. This is not so easy, but not impossible job. And carefully, carefully in there. And then I use this compress this down. Okay, now it's nicely. Now I check that. This ring is, and it's good to use flathead screwdriver that we don't damage this, this our spring. And also in this back area, and carefully let me check that this, okay, that this is, okay, looks good. Okay, and now, now this piston is in nicely and it is in ready for there and that position I can check that that this ring is also in that area it is fine in all areas the support ring okay good and in that part I can install this my lubricant also in that way and looks good and then then we can go to back, install this part back in this caliper. Okay, and then I am planning to install this brake caliper back in here. And here is this my brake caliper. And first I need to insert that in here, because I need to insert this my my Break hose back and I insert a couple of bolts in there that this is in like position in that way and second in here and then then I take here is this my break hose I take that in in here and it is by the way full of brake fluid 
Then I I take that my bolt. And there is this this position. And then this bolt, remember, there is this metallic pike what goes in there is hole. But this goes this line in that way. And we can look at how it goes. It it goes in that way and look there's and then we check that this in that way and now now this part and then I move this my bolt and let's look closer but we can see this idea that it must be in that position this part this part is in, in, in here, that part, look how it is, and then there's the spot, but now I am now fastening. Okay, and then, then I need to, then I need to fasten the bolt in here, and then, and this bolt is well and fastened. I take my this. Now I fasten that bolt. And then I need to use a little bit more force. This bolt becomes fast. That way. And this bolt should be force, what is something like. 30 newton meters and we can use a little bit longer bar that there is force but not too much that we don't destroy this bolt okay now it's good and i use that kind of longer bar but not full force like in like in okay and then when that is ready I need to bleed that system, but before of that I need to of course install in here those brake pads in my next job, because now, now everything is okay, but I need to install brake pads in here, and they are in here, they are in there. A second comes in here. That way, now they are in there, and then I insert brake caliper back and bolts back. Okay, good. And then I fasten these bolts, and then we continue. Okay, and then we need to fasten these bolts. Now when they are fastened, next step is to add this new brake fluid, same amount in here, to this brake fluid canister in engine area. But not this old one, a new brake fluid in, we need to add this brake fluid canister for this in engine area. And after that I take and I open that bleeding bolt in here, there is this bleeding bolt, and it's 8 millimeter. And when I open that in that way, I need to next insert in here this bleeding hose. And it, it looks like that. And, and then when I can rotate that, I check that it must be a little bit open and then I insert this plastic hose in here and it goes in this area, look in that way, and then that area, this part, what is free, this goes in this brake fluid thing, what is in here, in that way, and next, next I go to brake, my assistant brakes, 
this brake pedal and then I wait that when air bubbles ends in here I fast and, and I close that nut. But let's do that next. Okay, and now we are bleeding that and this nut is little bit open so much that this bleeding can go in here and we wait so much that this air bubble ends and then we pre press this card's brake pedal and we can see that that now there is movement and, and now I think that this line is full of brake fluid and then I can close this this my this nut and that position we may, must be carefully that we don't drop this harmful harmful brake fluid and then I take this my my socket and I fasten that bleeding bolt and then I break again I go to press this my brake pedal again I check that and now I check that is this my brake pads working and now I think that, that when I press that now brakes are on and then I need to go to check again in here that I, I have enough brake fluid in here and I add in here more brake fluid because brake fluid it has been drying in in that caliber and I add next new brake fluid okay and then when I have add the new brake fluid I open again a little bit that my bleeding bolt because I like to be sure that there is no any air inside and that's I go to press again my car's brake pedal in cabin. Now I think that there is not some air bubble comes out and then I then I fasten that my my bolt again and now I think that that this job this bleeding is ready and now I can end my job and I take this my that part and and then this part and now this bleeding is ready. Okay and this was this information and thank you for watching that video and now job is done.